if you don't like them because they're just ripping off Led Zeppelin, I have a little bit of an issue with that. Um, and my issue with that is why does originality have to matter so much? Why do we, why does it, you see this over and over again, that as music evolves and progresses, right? Like the bands that get seemingly the most notoriety when you, when you look at milestones are the bands that are most original, but that doesn't mean that every single band has to do something that is so progressive that it breaks new boundaries. Okay. We only get 12 notes. Musicians only get 12 notes. So there's only so much new things that you can really do. Um, and I, I don't understand why, why the originality has to matter so much. It's either you like it or you don't like it. It's either good to you or it's bad to you. Why, why does it have to be groundbreaking? Why, why does it have to be something completely new and never been done before in order for it to be good? It, it's the music snob types that do that, right? I, I feel like the people that I know that have the most, the most amount of hate for Greta Van Fleet are ones that are more than likely to be a little snobbish about music, right? They have their idea of this is what music's supposed to be, and if it's anything outside of that, it's horseshit, you know? And and they're not afraid to tell you that. They're not afraid to share that specific opinion with you. So um, I'm really talking about those people, right? When you, you just put such an emphasis on, oh, it's not original. Oh, it, mm, it sounds too much like that. Come on, it's nonsense. It's nonsense. Because why is it bad? Why is it bad that they sound like Led Zeppelin, right? If, especially if you like Led Zeppelin. Like, if you think Led Zeppelin sounds good, right? If you think, oh, that sound, that sounds amazing, and Greta Van Fleet sounds like Led Zeppelin, granted, granted, if you're going to compare them, right, Led Zeppelin does it better, I'll get into that later, but they sound like, they write similar music, similar riffs, blues-based riffs, the guy sounds like Robert Plant, um, the lyrical themes are different, but they sound like Led Zeppelin. So if you like Led Zeppelin, why why wouldn't you like that music? If that if that sound is what does it for you, why wouldn't you like it? You know what I mean? Again, I think it comes down to intent. If I get the hate, if you feel, all right, if you feel like Greta Van Fleet was put together in a music factory where like some, you know, fucking executives at a label were like, hey, smoking their cigars, being like, let's put together the next fucking Led Zeppelin. We're going to, we're going to make a mint on this. Like if that's what you think, right? If you think that they're a pre-packaged band that is put out there in order to advance something, um, I could kind of get that. It sometimes could feel like that. It could feel a little pre-packaged. Um, I, I wish, I, w I don't know much about like how Greta Van Fleet became famous. I don't, I don't know much of their backstory, so I'm completely hypothesizing here, but it seems that they have some major music industry, you know, support, right? I'm not sure if they're on a major label. I, I don't, I don't know anything, but it seems given their level of popularity, it seems that they, they have some sort of machine behind them. And and because they're young, you can't help but feel like, okay, they're young and they have a machine behind them. So this was a pre-packaged thing that, you know, is being sold to us. Um, and if that's the case, then I, then I totally get the, the that's, a, that's a justifiable reason to not like something, right? But, you know, if, if it's not, if like, if it's that what, if that's what they love to do, if they really want to sound like Led Zeppelin and, and be that, then they need to fucking own it. And I think that's the key, right? That, that's what we all really gravitate towards. It's not originality. It's, it's authenticity. It's when people are playing what they really, really love, right? That's what they want to do the most, that they want to sound like this. They want to play like that. When they do that, when they play from the heart, it's authentic. And that's what we really gravitate toward. It's, it's not really, it just so happens to be something that, you know, has never really been done before, then that's just a bonus. But like that originality part, man, I, I don't know. I think it's rare. I think it's really rare to be super original simply because, you know, it's, especially in terms of blues and rock based music, there are certain things that, that 
certain sonic music identifiers that go, okay, this is what makes that genre that genre, right? And when you start, in order to step outside of that, certain fundamental fundamental elements of the music would need to be changed. And, it, and then it becomes not that anymore, right? Like if you're a blues rock band and you're starting to use like, you know, melodic minor scales or harmonic minor scales over a blues thing, right? Like it, it's cool. It could be very cool and it could be your own thing, but you are now stepping outside what has been determined like this. Okay, this is the blues rock realm. This is kind of what that sounds like. And these are like certain things that you just do in this world in order to sound like that, right? And if you step too outside of that, then it becomes not that anymore. It doesn't mean it's, it's bad or, or good. You know, it's, I, I love a lot of that shit, but it, it is what it is. It's no longer that, that thing. You know what I mean? So I, I think originality is a little overrated. What, what makes great music great music, in my opinion, is when it's completely authentic and it's and there's confidence. I mean, there's definitely songs that you could kind of tell like come from a place of, you know, uncertainty and it and it's cool and it's got a vibe. But like, I don't know when you know like when you're like yeah like I I'm gonna this is who I am this is what I write this is what I do right when you have all that working for you right when you're like this is it this is what this is what makes me me and you do that I believe people can hear that and that's what they gravitate towards. We gravitate towards that. I, I'm a firm believer in that. I'm a firm believer in the music that I love the most. I could hear it. I could hear it. I could feel the authenticity, right? And so that's my my opinion and my advice to Greta Van Fleet is fuck, either you want to be Led Zeppelin, you want to you want to write music like that or you don't, right? And I'm of the opinion there's nothing wrong with it. I, I don't think... There's anything necessarily wrong with being like, I want to write music like Led Zeppelin, right? Especially if you sound like Robert Plant, because that's, geez, that's a hard ass thing to do, right? Not many people can sound like that. So if that's what moves you, if that's what is like true to you, then please do that. Don't, don't back away from that. If that's who you are, fucking do it. Do it. Do what you are, right? But if you're not that, right, if you if it is a prepackaged thing and you were forced because somebody said, oh, this guy sounds like Robert Plant, we could package this as, you know, they're the next saviors of rock and roll because they sound like Led Zeppelin. You know, if that is a marketing thing that is used to just sell who you are and it's not really who you are, then by all means change. Right? But comparing Greta Van Fleet to Led Zeppelin is at least a fair comparison because they are they sound very very similar. And now, if you were to ask me which one does it better, it's not even close. It's Led Zeppelin by a mile. It's by a mile because honestly, one of the, the funny thing about all of this is I remember listening to the latest Gre Greta Van Fleet album, which, to be honest, I only gave it one listen. Um, I, I I didn't give it enough attention to have a really really good opinion on it. I thought there were some really good riffs in there. I thought there were some good ideas, um, but I, I wasn't. You know, um, I wasn't blown away about it, but I remember one reaction I had with it, it was as soon as I was like, on like song five, I'm like, man, I kind of want to listen to Zeppelin four right now. You know what I mean? Like you made me want to go back and listen to Zeppelin, you know? Um, so maybe that's it. Maybe that's where the, the, the hate comes from with Greta Van Fleet. Maybe people are listening to Greta Van Fleet and becoming sad that Led Zeppelin hasn't put out any new music in 40 years. Like, that's possible. That's possible because I'm like, oh, man, fucking Zeppelin was a really good band, you know? I'm going to go back and listen to them, you know? So that's, um, that was my, that was my initial reaction. You know, I thought it was really good. Um, I thought it was good. Like, I, I, I wish to say it was really good. Like I said, I, I'd buy their vinyl. Um, um, it's good. It definitely, you know, it's better than a lot of newer stuff that I've heard. At least it, at least it's blues based rock, which is what I love. You know, any type of blues based rock or blues based metal, um, that that's what gets me going. So I'm always going to gravitate towards that stuff, but you know, not liking them simply because they're not original, right? If like you're, you're not liking them because they didn't break some new ground. They didn't, you know, you know, they, they you, you're at some point in time, like you're just reinventing the wheel. Like there's only, there's really only so much you can do. And especially if you like what, you know, if you like doing that type of thing, 
then do it. What the hell? Why, why, why are we complaining? I think it's overrated. I think originality is an overrated thing. You know, they're, figuring out why you like music is an important thing. And I just think the fact that it doesn't sound like anything else isn't, it isn't high on my priority list when I'm listening to music. Like if it sounds good, it sounds good. I know it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Good is good. That's the way I'll leave it. Good is good. 